Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, I've been getting some requests to do some uh, 80s songs on one guitar, kind of strumming versions of the songs, you know, that had like a lot of keyboards in them and whatnot, really keyboard driven. So today you're going to learn a one guitar strumming version uh, of the song I Just Died in Your Arms by Cutting Crew, and this is from their 1986 debut album, Broadcast. We'll do the song in its original key of B minor, and it's uh, tune your guitars to standard tuning, so A440, low to high, E, A, D, G, B and E. The song's in 4-4 four, four time, about 125 beats a minute, and um, it's only about six or seven chords. First, let's go over the chords you're gonna need to play this song. Uh, you're gonna need a B minor, A major, F sharp minor. You're also gonna need an F sharp major chord. They throw one in there, right? Uh, e minor, uh, G major, and you could play the G major. I also hear him add that ninth in there on the keyboard. So you could play a G major nine or a G add nine. A major nine is a little hard to finger, but you could play a G add nine like this, using just your first finger on the low E and your high, uh, on the high E, your pinky on the fifth fret, adding an A note, muting the A string with our first finger. You could play a G major seven in place of that if you, if you like that better, but I definitely, that adds the F sharp note, but I hear that nine in that chord. Or like I said, you could just play it with a G major chord. I'll show you how to do B. Now, if you're having trouble with that B minor chord or the F sharp minor or bar chords in general, I could really help you with that. Click the link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you a killer free video lesson. It's extended play and it's not on YouTube and it's my best bar chord playing uh, and changing techniques. It, the lesson is packed with pro tips and exercises to really get your bar chord playing and changing. Just blast it to the next level. And I'll pair it with an ebook which has more chord charts in it, more exercises, more lessons. It's a killer one-two punch. I'll send them both to you for free. The video lesson and ebook, just click on that link below. Then they repeat it. that big B minor chord and then it goes that I just died in your arms tonight uh, so the song kind of starts with the chorus so I'll show you that keyboard part in the guitar licks at the end of the lesson but let's go over the progressions first now remember that the song is really keyboard and bass driven there's not much guitar in it so we're gonna kind of take some liberties because we're just right using one guitar so after that little um, intro bit which I'll tab out for you later um, it comes in with that B minor chord Right? And you're going to kind of hit the chords and let them ring um, for this first chorus and where he starts, oh, I just died in your arms tonight, which goes into the first verse and then we'll start strumming. So at first, B minor, oh, I just died in your arms tonight, A, you can let him ring. F sharp minor, must have been something you said, B minor. I just E minor, died in your arms tonight, A, F sharp minor, and then B minor. And that's when I would start strumming. And then that's when, you know, the little guitar licks come in. And on that strum, we'll use the same strum for the whole song. Down, down, up, up, down, up, right? Little eighth note pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four. Okay, so and we'll strum the chorus from then on. But the first time, just let them ring, or you can kind of like arpeggiate them a little bit. You're basically holding each one for two measures or two times around the strum, like you'll see when we get to the next chorus. So that goes into the first verse. I keep looking for something I can't get. Let me play the verse, it'll sound like this. into the next chorus. So let me explain what he's doing in the verses. And there's two verses in the song. Verse two, uh, is there any just uh, cause for feeling like this? Same exact changes as in verse one. So we're gonna use that same strum pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, right? And verse one is just, you hold that B minor two times, two measures or two times through the strum. I keep looking 
for something I can't get. And then uh, you go to a G add nine for broken hearts, or you could just play a G major chord if that's easier for you. Broken hearts like all around me. Um, it sounds very close, right? Well, you could even play a G major seven, but I think the G add nine is, is the closest to what they're doing on the keyboards. But either way, the G sounds good too. Fly all around me and I, on I you go to the A chord for two measures. I don't see an easy way to get out of this. And then the second time on the F sharp minor, I build it up a little bit. So I go down, down, up, up, down, up, one and two and three and four. And then I just do all down strokes and kind of dig into the chord a little bit more as I go through those eight down strokes, one and two and three and four and eight notes, but all downs, right? And then it just repeats, her diary sits on a bedside table, B minor. The curtains on curtains go to the G add nine, that's in the cradle, A, and if you would have thought that a boy like me would come to this F sharp minor. I just died in your arms tonight. We're into the chorus now. And hey, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps me to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Let me play the chorus. It'll sound like this, right from that B minor and the O. Oh. Okay, and the B minor he holds for four. Three, four. Verse two. Okay, excuse my singing. I'm just kind of doing it just so you can kind of see where the chords change. But you notice verse two, same exact changes as verse one. So now we're into the third chorus, right? And he doesn't play that G add nine to the B minor at the end of it. He just ends it on the F sharp minor, much like uh, we did in the first chorus in the, in the intro. Um, no B minor, should have walked away. You just end this chorus on the F sharp minor. Uh, so the last things, B minor, I just died, E minor, in your arms tonight, second time through, F sharp minor must have been some kind of B minor kiss, E minor should have, should have walked away is A, F sharp minor should have walked away. Now it goes to the bridge section, this is the basically the final progression you need to know, actually the chords under the guitar solo will be, but G, and he kind of lets it ring, you could do a little picking if you want, but basically it's two measures on the G. It was a long hot night. E minor, she made it easy. She made it feel right. G, but now it's over. The moment has gone. F sharp. That's F sharp major. Uh, I followed my hands to my head. I knew I was wrong. Right? So here's that bridge. You do like a little extra picking because there's no other instrumentation. E minor. G, no, it's over, the moment has gone, F sharp, I followed my hands to my head, I was wrong. That goes into the guitar solo, which you, you're obviously not going to play the solo, but if you want to play the chords underneath the, the guitar solo, which just, and this is the, also the chords that, for the outro chorus of the song, just B minor to E minor to A to F sharp minor, right? And the guitar solo, you do that twice, so it's like this.
then it goes back to another chorus, B minor, where he kind of sings a cappello just vocally. You could just hit the chords once. Then the band kicks in, this kicks in for the second half of the chorus. Um, so I would just play a whole chorus chords. And then you do, uh, and then he kind of does that outro guitar solo, which you could just strum those chords, those four chords, and the song ends. Um, and you could just end it like on a B minor chord. Like you could just do that uh, B minor, B minor, A, F sharp minor. song on B minor. So the last thing I want to show you is how we could do that keyboard intro on the acoustic guitar, right? I played it for you before and I'll tab it out for you. So basically you're going to play a series of double stops, which is basically just two notes. And they're on adjacent strings. So the first one, seventh fret on the B and the G string, and you do that eight times. All downstrokes, and I'm partially muting it instead of making it really loud, kind of quiet. And then you go three hits on this double stop, 11th fret on the G and 10th fret on the B. And then take that shape and go down two frets or a whole step and you do another three hits and that's now on the 9th and on the G and the 8th fret on the B. So, so far slow. Now you do that 7th fret again with the first finger on the G and the B twice this time. And then you're going to go to uh, this double stop, 6th fret on the G, 5th fret on the B for 3. And then add your 3rd finger to the G uh, D string, because then you're going to play 7th on the D and 6th, so you don't have to move that 2nd finger, 6th on the uh, G 5 times. So, so far slow. last one you do five hits. Then I switch and I do sixth fret G, seventh fret B for three, and then add your uh, third finger again to that uh, D string. Now you're on the eighth fret and you play the eighth fret uh, D and the sixth fret G for five. And that's it. And then it starts over again. You do it again. So you do it twice. So the whole thing's slow. second time you kind of build it and then I go right into that B minor chord oh I just died in your arms tonight notice too I forgot to mention in that intro if you listen to the song that first chorus right when he comes in with the oh I just died in your arms plays B minor died in your arms there's no E minor chord there died in your arms tonight it goes to the A and in the choruses after that it's oh I just died E minor in your arms tonight but they leave that E minor chord out um, uh, in the first time he plays it. If you listen to it, you'll, you'll hear that that E minor is not in there on the keyboards the first time through it. I mean, you could put it in if you want. Oh, I just died. Just put it in on died, your arms tonight, if you want to. The other thing I could show you is that, that kind of trademark guitar lick he plays. Right? It's kind of cool. That's taken right from this B natural minor scale. So all you're gonna do is second fret, I hammer to the third fret on the B string. I mean, you could pick it, I like to hammer it. And then fifth fret, I grab my pinky on the high E string. Let that ring, and then you do the repeat, second to third fret on the B, fifth fret again, but this time on the, on the high E, I slide it to the seventh fret, and then second fret in on that F sharp on the high E, so slow. Right? So that's kind of fun to do. That's Cutting Crew, I Just Died in Your Arms. Really fun one to play on one guitar, right? We really like taking these kind of more keyboard driven songs or, or piano songs and transposing them for guitar, right? Lots of fun, enjoy that one. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps you to keep bringing the content and ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box. Get my killer free video lesson on essential bar chord playing techniques and changing techniques packed with exercises. You really enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons and songs coming. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars, right? Um, keep having
having fun with them. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.